Okay, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed your workout last week. So we're bringing you now this week's workout, okay? Your challenge for this week is to try and step up a level. So what I mean by that is if you did the easy level of the workout last week, try and bring yourself up to medium level. And if you did the medium level, try and bring yourself up to the more difficult level. Okay, so we've got seven exercises for you this week. The first one is going to be shoulder taps. Okay, so in order to do shoulder taps, you're down into the push-up position, shoulders over wrists, and you're just tapping your shoulders. So right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. Okay, and you're just alternating all the time. If you want to make that more difficult for yourself, you can do two shoulder taps and a push-up. Two shoulder taps and a push-up. Okay, so moving on now to tricep dips. So what you'll need for tricep dips is like a chair or maybe a low bench. In order to do the tricep dips, you're going to extend your legs out and you're going to work on your triceps. So you're bending your elbows down and extending upwards. Flexing down and extending upwards. If you want to make this a little bit easier for yourself, you can bring your knees in like so, up and down. Okay. So moving on now to Russian twists. So for the Russian twists, you might need a bowl or if you want, you can get yourself a weight to really challenge yourself. Okay, so you're sitting there, almost in a sit-up position. Your legs are slightly off the ground and you move it side to side. So twisting the core, pushing the ball or the weight down, side to side. Okay. Our next one is a squat or if you want to make it more difficult for yourself, a split squat. Okay, so feet just outside shoulder width apart. You're trying to keep your chest nice and upwards and you're pretending that you're gonna sit back down into a chair. Squatting all the way down and back up. All the way down and back up. If you want to challenge yourself, you can get yourself a ball or something a little bit heavier. Feet shoulder width apart and you're going down and up. Okay, to really, really make this difficult, you can try a split squat. So again, find yourself a chair or a low bench. You're putting one foot up. Again, making sure that your knee doesn't go over your toe. And you're going down and up. Slow down and up. Okay, on to the next one, the plank. This is a really, really challenging exercise, really good for all of your core muscles and score, uh, core stability. So, we're down, almost like a press up position, like so. Making sure your body is nice and tense and your body is nice and flat. Okay, if you want to make this a little bit harder for yourself, you can do one leg, lifting up one leg. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can lift one leg and one arm. Okay. Moving on to toe touch jumps. Okay, this is really going to get you working. So, in order to do this, you're going down, you're touching your toes, and you're going to do a full jump. So down, touch your toes, and up. If you want to challenge yourself even further with this, you can add in a full burpee. So you're down, legs are out, legs are in, and up. Okay. Moving on to the last exercise, which is the step up. So, one more time, you might need a chair or a small bench. In order to do this, you're going to step up and back down. To make this more difficult for yourself, one foot up and you're driving your knee upwards. Changing knees each time. Okay, I can't wait to see all your replies next week. Hope you have fun doing the workout.